Hello, and welcome to Dragon Age. <sighs> this series is no longer going to be a filler series, it's going to be a proper series. Because I have now split down the Cry of Fear videos to smaller videos, as you can see. Originally, it was 55 minutes worth of footage, that I still need to edit all through and get all those episodes sorted out. But for now, we're going to enjoy some Dragon Age. It's not this way. I have been asked to go see Master Irving. Ah, I love this game so much. As you may be aware, or may not be aware, there is a weekly schedule now. Must control the fire with your will. Keep the flame steady. We don't want it sputtering and leaping about. That's what causes most of the injuries. Injuries? But, but... Steady. It reacts to your emotions. If you panic, it will... No, no, no. Breathe. You know, in my experience, Flint and Tinder works just as well. Maybe we should start with that. As I was saying, sorry, I wanted to listen to this dialogue. It's a great bit of dialogue. In fact, most of it in Dragon Age is. There's not really a bad piece of dialogue in Dragon Age. Anyway, we're going to be having a weekly schedule, so you'll get regular content. And what the hell are they... She was just... Never mind. Um... About magic. Magic must serve man and not rule over him. Very good. And what do you think that means? Can anyone tell me? Hey! No, that's not what it means. It means that magic should be used to help people, but we can't use our magic to. to force people to do what we want. That's right. We should not abuse the gift the Maker has given us. <sighs> I'm sorry about the voices, by the way. For some reason, it just sounds like someone's down the other end of a hallway trying to talk to me from there. In some places, obviously. Not in all places, the dialogue. Oh, all my power behind that spell, you would have been obliterated. I am not your enemy. Fear is your enemy. It is a weakness that can be exploited. See? No. Surprised I didn't get obliterated there. Um Okay, let's move on. This is a wonderful game. Welcome to the circle stockroom of magical items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Now, from just from that, if you remember the description of the Tranquil Mages, uh, if you've played this game, obviously, uh, when someone becomes tranquil, they become emotionless and almost lifeless, basically. So I'm going to ask him if he's a tranquil mage. I voluntarily submitted to the rite of tranquility. I was unwilling to undergo the harrowing. I find this state agreeable. You see what I mean? Tranquility has its merits. I see the world with clarity. I remember the days when my mind was filled with inconvenient and seething emotions. Now things are simple. Hmm. It is difficult to describe. I would perhaps compare it to being plunged into a pool of ice-cold water. I was ordered to never speak of it. I cannot go against the Circle's wishes. My body is similar in form to yours, possessing an equal number of limbs, appendages, and internal organs. I perform the same physical functions. My mind is capable of higher thought processes. Am I to be denied personhood because I do not feel as you do? No, of course not. I just wanted to answer that one last bit of dialogue to see what you said. I have thoughts and memories. I remember my past, my childhood in the tower, and my apprenticeship. These experiences defined me. My lack of emotion simply adds to what is already there. 
Yeah, I suppose. I do not have the capacity to be offended. Still, I believe I am a person. Very well. Goodbye. At least you can't hurt him, I suppose. Like, emotionally. Good day to you. Oh. Third floor. Uh, Templars. They just watch over us. Oh, he's in here. He wasn't. I thought he was on the third floor, but all right. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wynne, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision? Where they can actually use their maker-given powers. How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Ah, if it isn't our new brother in the circle. Come, child. This is... Yes, this is he. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. This is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. <sighs> is this why you had me summoned? Pleased to meet you. Grey Warden in the tower. Pleased to meet you. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the King's army at Ostagar. Mages are uniquely equipped to combat Darkspawn. Of course not. I wished to congratulate you on a successful end to last night's ordeal. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of Magi. Thank you. I'm sorry, what is this phylactery? Blood is taken from all apprentices when they first come to the tower, and is preserved in special vials. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. Thank you. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the rite. Now then, take your time to rest, or study in the library. The day is yours. <laughs> Impetuousness is ever the province of youth, I see. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? The guest my quarters pleasure. are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Ah. Alrighty. Magic staff. Equip. Lovely. Uh, okay. Duncan, you... You coming with me? Okay. Uh, where is his quarters? He is back there. Let's go. Thank you for escorting me. No problem. Friend. 
I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? Does it really matter? I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? We should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. <sighs> you see Melissa on edge. I've been troubled. I'll explain. Come with me, please. We should be safe here. A few months ago, I told you that I met a girl. This is Lily. So you can see why we wish to keep it a secret. Lily's been given to the Chantry. She's not allowed to have relations with men. If anyone finds out, we'll both be in trouble. Ooh. I wish that was the only thing I needed to talk about. Remember I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing? I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. They'll take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, my love for Lily. All gone. What does this have to do with me? I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help, and we will tell you what we intend. Ooh. All right then. Thank you. We will never forget this. I can Make get us into the quick. repository, but there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The first enchanter and knight commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power enough in this place to destroy all of Ferelden. What's a door to mages? I once saw a rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stock room, but a Wayne doesn't release such things to apprentices. We should stay here. One mage at the stock room will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. Good idea. Good luck. Our prayers go with you. Bound in blood and magic. That sounds badass. Oh. Codex. Another codex. Okay. Let's go to the stock room and get this rod of fire. Welcome to the circle stock room of magical items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Rods of fire serve many purposes. Why do you wish to acquire this particular item? Some mages require them for their research. Others merely want to light fireplaces. I will set down that you require the rod to deal with the personal matter. Here is the form, Request for Rod of Fire. Have it signed and dated by a senior enchanter. I will release a rod to you once I have the signed form. Damn. Thank you. Uh, it's never this simple though. You can't just get it off the bat. That's That would make it too easy. I take it none of you actually want to see me, um... Well, do extra quests. Because that would just be boring to you guys, I take it. So that's first floor. Where the hell is it? I'm gonna have a look on the third floor. Oh Christ, I can't be asked with this. Let's go to the first floor. Time to be some scheming asshole. Not in here. Wait. Basement, second floor. So he's on. He or she is on the third floor. Lovely.
some of the tips are useful, some are useless, but yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to say. As you can see, I already went through the process of leveling up before I started the video. I have shock, of course. The caster's hands are up with a cone of lightning, damaging all targets in the area. Friendly, friendly fire possible. Okay. Oh, a Templar, for Christ's sake. The first sake. enchanter said not to let anyone through this door, and I don't question my order. First enchanter, Irving. Senior enchanter. Ah, there we go. I thought it was like a gigantic quest objective arrow, like usual. Okay. Oh, what's over here? It is begun. Take all. Yes. Who are you? Senior Enchanter Leorath, in charge of the Circle's laboratory. Is there something you want? <sighs> What's that door over there? That leads to the Circle's cavern storerooms. There are caves running through the rock that the Circle is built upon. But of course, you know this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Uh, no, uh, I, I can't let anyone in there just now. Wow, that seemed a bit hasty. <sighs> there are just things in there that I would prefer to keep safe. Are you stealing from the Circle's stores? No, of course not. I just have... I, I am in the midst of stock-taking, checking inventory, and I, I can't let anyone in there in case they... M mess things up. Yes. Ah, you seem awfully suspicious. Wow, I said that really wrong. Suspicious. Quite a while. Don't wait up. You're hiding something in there, I'm telling Irving. Wait, no, don't. I, I... Look, I'll tell you the truth. Just keep it to yourself. You there better. There's an infestation of spiders in the caves. I don't know how they got in there, but it's probably my fault. I was promoted to senior enchanter less than a fortnight ago, and I don't want anyone to find out. They'll think I'm incompetent. You can't even fight off the spiders, and you're a senior enchanter. <sighs> if you sign this form, I'll deal with the spiders. Hmm, you need a rod of fire. Interesting. Well, your proposal sounds fair. Clear out the storerooms and I will sign your form. Wonderful. Here is the key. Oh, and be careful in there. I'd really like to keep the damage done to the Circle's property to a minimum. Alrighty then. Wow, she's a senior enchanter. Or enchantress, rather. And she has the same staff as me. As you say. <sighs> Alright. Time to meme. <laughs> 